Hey Sagittarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Take from this reading what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. So we are going to do something different today. We're going to use the tarot cloth and the tarot dice, okay, to get some messages. Work, money, spiritual, unconscious, body and mind, um, and relationship advice, okay? So let's see. Two dice per category. What's going on with your finances, your money, your career, your business? We have the two of wands in reverse, and we have the king of swords kind of sideways. So some of y'all might be confused. You might be trying to problem solve um, and trying to cut. I just heard cut through illusions. This is Aquarius and Aries energy, if that means anything to you. And there could be a supervisor here, somebody that you're not seeing eye to eye with. Um, you might be trying to be very diplomatic with this person is what I just heard. Somebody could be trying to abuse their power with you. Somebody could also be losing their credibility with you, but maybe you're so dedicated to what you do for a living that you don't just want to abandon post. But this two of wands in reverse talks about being stuck in a comfort zone, y'all. A failure to plan for the future. And the king, the king of swords is a very logical um, person. Definitely a planner. Somebody problem solving. So it's sideways. I feel like you might be in limbo about something right now. You feel like you want out of a situation, but you don't know how to get out of it. So there could be a job that you absolutely hate, a boss that you can't stand and don't get along with. But maybe because this is your bread and butter, you're like, I got to deal with it. But I don't think you feel very good about it. Some of you feel like you didn't plan well enough when it came to your career and your finances. You might be like, you know what? I'm at this particular age. I should be in this tax bracket, but you're not there. Give yourself grace because, I mean, you know, it's life. We, we live and we learn. What's going on in the subconscious, the spiritual realm? Okay, we got the death card. We got the judgment card. Hmm. Death and rebirth. <laughs> the judgment is um, rebirth. Scorpio energy. You could be on a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Both of those are Scorpio. Um, yeah. Hmm. You could be... I don't know what this is that has ended, but something has ended. Some kind of cycle. Okay, there's been an ending. I don't know what it is. You release something or you are releasing something. It could be this job. But the judgment card talks about a spiritual awakening, a rebirth, a renewal kind of energy, uh, self-assessing. Looking at yourself and just re really kind of like dealing with the consequences of your actions and your choices and your thoughts and behaviors up to this point. Some of you also made a final de decision to end something or you're thinking about it. You could all also have like an ancestor here or something, somebody that recently passed that you're thinking a lot about. It feels very fresh, okay? What's going on with your mental health and your physical health? We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the World card. Hmm. So we have Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus energy showing up here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about codependency. The judgment card means that you're ready to close out a cycle. So some of you have ended a codependent relationship. This could be somebody that was dependent on you financially, somebody that was using you. This is a scam artist, a con artist. Okay, so this could be what you're getting up out of your energy, even if that's you. Like releasing this low vibrational energy. You're detaching. Yeah, this is closure. So you're putting closure to a situation. That's probably why you have this judgment card. After the judgment is the world. So it's going in order. Some of you are ready for something new. And only you know what this is. Whatever's on your mind, whatever's going on with you emotionally, mentally, physically, it just kind of feels like you, there's an investment here that was a bad investment that you're no longer giving to. What's going on with your love life, relationship, and love life? So we have the Seven of Swords and we have. The hermit. Hmm. The hermit is in reverse. 
That's Virgo energy. The Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. The Seven of Swords talks about somebody who is a liar, a thief, a cheat. Talks about betrayal. Talks about a current artist. Yeah, this is who you've cut off. I feel like you maybe you... This person could have snuck away, just kind of abandoned the connection. Because the Seven of Swords is an escape artist. Definitely still a con artist, a scam artist, somebody wearing a mask. This is somebody that you've lost trust for. I feel you don't believe in this person anymore. And you're quiet. You're not talking to them. Because the Nine of I mean, sorry, not the Nine of Swords. Lord have mercy. The Hermit in reverse talks about feeling very alienated, isolated. So this person could have just disappeared on you, and this is why you're not talking. Or they did something here that you didn't approve of, so you cut them off. Let's get some advice. What's the advice spirit for Sagittarius? This could be a nine-year relationship or nine-year cycle. We have presence. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment. Wow, Scorpio just got this. To stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. And they also got the hermit in that same um, in the same relationship category. So you could be connected to a Scorpio or you're on the cusp. Your life is happening right now, and when you're not present for it, you miss all of its beauty. Well, I feel like you are ending something. Some of you are realizing that there's no time like the present, okay? With this, the the um the world card is about self-actualization. As is the fool. And after the world card, you start a new journey, which is the fool, okay? So some kind of new beginning is coming in here. I do feel like you're Right now, I don't see you dating anybody. I don't even see that as a prospect for you right now. It feels like you're healing. You're focused on your spiritual envelopment. What? Enlightenment and awakening? Yeah, you're growing spiritually. So something here was just a spiritual um, catalyst for your growth. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.